So once I have the pieces the way I want them here, then I can select them, go to File, Export, Selection to SVG File, and we'll call this um, Pop-Up Steps Card. We'll just call it number three so it doesn't get confused. Now, if I'm in Pop-Up Card Studio and I want to export this as SVG, I go to File, Export, Project Rendering as SVG file. Click on that, and um, maybe I'll call this number three here. And I click on Save. Oh, well, maybe I better make it a four. Yeah, the last one I just made a three. Okay, so I click on save, and it will bring up my default program, usually, for SVGs, which happens to be in view, and it usually opens in there, but I closed it out. So whatever software you're going to use it in, you open that software and bring it in. So let's say that I wanted to do it in NVR. I showed you how to, you want me to show you how to do it and make the cut again? And make the cut, I get a new page, I go to SVG, and get the pop-up step card. And I right-click and to each its own, and that puts all the score lines on their own layers and the cut lines on their own layers. And I could use Shift and click on both sets of score lines to select all of them and send them to their own layer so that, um, let me do that again, to each its own. I'm going to click just the score lines and select them and send them to their own layer. And that way, I can call this one score lines because they're going to be scored whether they're red or blue lines. And uh, this, these would be, um, double click and I'll just call these cut lines. Then if I wanted to cut this on my force, then uh, I would again export as SVG because now they're in the right layers and it'll, SVG format will work on the force well with this, these layers labeled like this. So I would, now I could also bring in the extra um, layers and make a backing and all that if I wanted to, but whatever I want to export, I'd go to File, Export, Selection to SVG, let me call that pop-up stick card and maybe I better make that a five because it's different. And that's all there is to it. So this SVG should work in any software that uh, accepts SVG uh, files. Did that answer your question? Uh, she still wa wants you to show how you saved it from PCS to SVG. I did. I'll do it again. This will be the third time. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I just saw that you were still make the cut, so I apologize. So, just to, for a review, you've got your file on the screen, which you can get straight out of um, the gallery and um, pop up card studio. You go to File, Export, Project Rendering as SVG File. And there it is. Now, it will to open in InView because that's where I use my SVG files. And so there it is. If you want to see this, I'll show it to you. Um, whatever, you can set it up to open in the default program that you want to use for uh, cutting SVGs. And this automatically opened in InView. And you notice that the red and blue lines came in nicely. So when I go to cut this, it's ready to cut as is. I've got 
if I want to do the red lines, I click those and the blue lines, then I, I can do those all and just send them to um, score. And then when I'm ready to cut, I'll just show the black lines and put my blade back in and send that to cut, and it's done. So I can save this as a PBG file. So that's what InView does with it. I can take this into Silhouette Studio. I can take it into Shortcuts a lot. I can take it into Cricut Design Space, any other uh, programs that accept SVG. I can do it with the C3 for the force. So it's very versatile. That's what I love about uh, Make the Cut and Pop-Up Card Studio is that I can save it in many different formats and it's, these files are usable on many, many different cutters. I can use them on all 13 of, of my cutters.